Okay, so here we are. We're going to start with the inside on this one. Do it a little bit differently. So we're just opening all of the parcels of what you want. So lucky cat I'm going to put outside. I'd, I'd just rather get rid of everything and, and start with how I'm going to put my twist on it and then I will fit the other pieces in on this one because the pieces don't really fit with the theme that he wants. So we're just going to have a scroll through the catalogue, see what we can find. So yeah, we're just going to do the obligatory furniture dump of all of the pieces that I like. I have extended the room a bit, but not too much. Um, I know he wants a palace, but I'd rather have it um, a little bit more cosy than too spacious for the look that I'm going to go for, which obviously we, you will see later on in the video. So we started going with this red and gold theme because I was thinking palace. Palace is very regal, um, very rich looking. But to be honest, I remembered we've got the safe and the money and the briefcase. And it doesn't really fit with the vintage palace theme that I was thinking of. So we're going to go with more of a clean, modern palace. So more of a mansion, I guess you'd call it, than a an old-fashioned palace. Uh, so we're just chucking the rest of the furniture down now. As you can tell, I'm going white. We're going to go white. We're going to go super clean, cool, fresh, simple. So that's what we're going for. Some of the things are slightly off-white, but that's absolutely fine. It's all going to fit in anyway. Okay, so time to start moving the furniture into where we want it. Now, you can see I've got a few different things here. Um, I'm thinking we're going to go with like an office space. Because of the money in the safe, I didn't really know what else to do with it. So I thought, right, office. Straight away, we'll do a cool office up in the top corner. Um, And then it's probably just going to be a standard living room. I don't remember if I did a kitchen. I don't think I did. Um, I recorded this a while ago, um, so I can't actually fully remember what I did, but we're going to watch together and find out. Okay, so we're back in the catalogue again because clearly I've had an idea spring to mind. And oh look, we're looking at kitchen items. So clearly I've had the idea that we're going to build a kitchen. Because I guess you can do a really nice clean white kitchen. Um, modern kitchen's really easy to do in this game. More vintage kitchens are not quite so easy to do um, because I feel like the more vintage kitchens are often very like messy looking, which you don't always want in a vintage build. So I don't tend to do vintage kitchens. I'll do a modern kitchen, but nothing else. Thank you. 
So I've just chucked in some partition walls there. I was looking at that kitchenette, but um, well, I don't think it's called a kitchenette, but you know, the kind of all-in-one kitchen thing, but um, I'm not, I'm not sure if I like it in this build or not. Obligatory scroll through the catalogue. <laughs> uh, and then I had this idea to do like a breakfast bar. Because again, if we're going modern, breakfast bars are very modern, but very, I would say, uh, expensive. You know, not everybody has a breakfast bar. So it is very mansion-like. Um, and then I was playing with, should I have a lower counter in, some lower counters in the middle? I don't know, I felt like the counters were a little bit too high for those chairs. So I'm just playing around with the chair to see which I prefer. Um, because... You could almost do one with the height in between. Um, it kind of looks a bit too tall for the chairs, but then the lower counter is way too low. So I think we ended up going for the um, higher counters there. And then I've gone to have a look at this living room. Do you know, I could think of it the other day. What, what do you call a living room in America? Uh, or in other parts of the world. Because I just cannot think of, like, the alternate names for a living room. Um, yeah, for the life of me. Not a clue. <laughs> because I've never... I don't think I've ever had a conversation with somebody about their living room before. So yeah, we're just playing around with this furniture a little bit. I did really enjoy this build. Um, I do really enjoy doing the slightly more modern style. I don't do it very often. But uh, yeah, I did enjoy this. These sofas are really nice as well, especially in the white. I do like them in the black, but in the white, they, I think they look really, really good. Obligatory scroll through the catalog. <laughs> okay, now I'm just trying to decide on how to situate this television. Um, I tried it with the counters, didn't really like it. Um, and now we're trying a few different tables. And I quite like this low board. There's not a lot of room there. I never leave myself enough space for a living room. Just playing around to try and make some space for that table. Does the table look right? I'm not entirely sure. I don't like how it sits with that other sofa. Or couch. I don't know. It looks a bit strange. So we'll just have a look through the catalogue for... I wanted something to go behind the sofa. Because I really... I. If you saw my last decorating video, uh, where we did Dottie's build, I really don't like floating sofas uh, or floating couches. I, I just, I don't know, it's a personal thing. I wasn't a fan. So I was like, maybe I could um, put some kind of partition in behind it. Uh, but don't. I, I didn't really want a whole wall. So I was trying some lower partitions first. And I was like, well, how about I swap and put the TV there? For some reason, I couldn't get it to rotate. So we took the TV off and started again. <laughs> so I thought, how about we put the sofa on that wall? Move everything a little bit. And perhaps put something behind the television. Mm. 
I didn't like how from the side you can see the big gap. Like, um, looking straight on, you can see the big gap in the TV. Uh, between the, the TV and the partition that I was putting in. So we got rid of that. <laughs> I'm just spending ages deciding what to do with this. I was like, oh, how about a curtain? No, didn't like that. <laughs> and then I remembered about these, and these are pretty good. I do like these because they sit a bit more flush to whatever's next to them, so you don't have that massive gap. And you've got a nice shelf that you can um, put some plants on or kind of whatever, whatever you fancy. Uh, I did part partition off this office space as well, um, just to hide it a little bit because it's going to have like, you know, your safe and the money and all that stuff. You don't really want it exposed. So we're just sort of trying to fill it up. I decided to block off that bottom corner on the um, living room because then I wanted to make it so you have to go actually into the house to access it. I thought this piano is pretty smart, it's very palace-like. Maybe usually used in a vintage setting, but... I, I don't mind it. I quite like that. Now we're just going to have a quick scroll through the catalogue to look at... We need to look at some decor items now. So we need some plants, um, some ornaments, books, food. Again, keeping it quite modern. have the food on the stove it really makes a difference the little details these um the jars i really like as well because they're customizable so you can change what's in them um so you can have like a little cookie jar or a sugar jar I thought I was going to put some flowers in, but I don't I don't want it um too girly, obviously, because who this is for. They're not the girliest of characters, so just adding in some of these expensive looking items as well. You know how it is like you know, if you look at um, like celebrity homes and things like that, they have a lot of their um, expensive items on display, like watches, shoes, handbags. Do you know what I mean? Things that for like us are kind of everyday items, they display them because of how much they paid for them. <laughs> if only I had that much money to be able to display handbags in my home. I didn't like the fact that that plant was on the end. I don't know, it looked a bit strange. We also got rid of the gold watch and decided to put that there instead. I quite liked that. I don't know what it is, like a scales 
Oh no, the watch is there. The watch is back. <laughs> Not even I know what I'm doing anymore. <laughs> I'm another quick scroll through the catalogue to find any more expensive looking items. Okay, time for another uh, scroll through the catalogue as we now find some wall items. To try and fill up the blank walls. And ceiling items apparently. <laughs> I decided to go with turning the lights off um, or down low. Because I think it just looks really nice. Just looking for an accent wall now to try and put a different wall on uh, that office wall. I really like that flooring in there, but do I change it? Yes, I end up going for the white marble floor because, you know, it's marble. All rich people have marble. <laughs> I also say marble quite weirdly. There's always one word in every video that I do that I just repeat so many times it ends up sounding very weird. In this one, apparently it's marble. And that is the end of this part of the build. Uh, we will be doing the upstairs and the outside in part two. If you want to be notified when part two comes out, please consider subscribing. Um, if you liked this video, please do leave it a like. It helps me out massively. It lets me know what you're enjoying watching and what you're not. I will leave you with some images of the finished build. And hopefully I will catch you all in part two. Please take care of yourselves and I will see you soon. Bye.